Hello students. Our next example is which is the case of a block and string here in which we are considering the gravitational force also. Example. So here there is a m mass whirling at a velocity v. m is the mass and r is the length of the string and there is gravitational field downwards. So mass m is whirled at instantaneous speed v at the end of a string of length r. The motion is in a vertical plane. So we are considering a vertical plane. So there is influence of this gravitational force also. So the motion is in a vertical plane in the gravitational field of the earth. Okay. Now the forces on m are there will be two forces. One is the weight mg downward and the string force t towards the center. These are the two forces acting on the mass m. Okay, the string makes an instantaneous angle theta with the horizontal. Theta is the angle made by the string uh, with the horizontal. Now we have to find out what is the t, the string, string force t and also the tangential acceleration at any instant. These two are the uh, physical quantities which we have to find out. Okay, so uh, here we know this is the direction of t towards the center the tension or the string force towards the center weight of the body is that it's towards the downward direction along with g and these are the unit vectors direction of r and theta okay so in this case here we are resolving the weight w into two components w cos theta and w sin theta so w cos theta is the tangential component of weight and this is the perpendicular component w sin theta is along the direction of t so so in the radial equation of motion along with t there will be a component of w also since both are in an opposite direction towards r there will be negative sign for both the terms so the radial force is minus t minus w sin theta so the radial equation will be minus we have taken both minus outside minus t plus w sin theta is equal to m a r. A r is the radial acceleration which we have dealt in the last video. So a r is equal to r double dot minus r theta dot square. This is the equation number one. This is the radial equation of motion. Okay. Similarly, the tangential force. This is the tangential force acting on the mass m, which is opposite to the direction of the unit vector theta. Okay, so there will be a minus sign for the tangential force. So, minus w cos theta is the tangential force. So, our uh, tangential equation of motion will be minus w cos theta is equal to m a theta. A theta is the angular acceleration term. A theta is equal to r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot. This is the equation number 2. These are the two equations of motion along the radial and the angular directions. Okay, now we have to find out, uh, we have to solve these two equations. Now we know that r is equal to a constant, which is the length of the string. So we have found out a r is equal to minus r theta dot square. We know theta dot is v by r on substituting we get a r is equal to minus v square by r and when we substitute this in equation number one we get t is equal to m v square by r minus w sin theta okay so there is an additional term minus w sin theta along with this term which you have dealt in the earlier example so there is a minus term so there is a decrease in the value from this term Okay, when we take mv square by r outside, that is 1 minus g r sin theta by v square. So, what are the conditions in which this, uh, the mass can move in a circular path? We have to define the condition for that too. Okay, we know that the t, the string force can only push it towards the center. It can only pull, but it cannot push out towards the outside. So t cannot be negative. Okay. This requires that t, if t cannot be negative means 
this term should be greater than this term, right? So mv square by r must be greater than or equal to w sin theta. So the maximum value of w sin theta occurs when the mass is vertically up, that is when sin theta is equal to sin 90, which is 1, which is the maximum value of sin theta. In that case, mv square by r is greater than w. This should be the condition to be satisfied. If this condition is not satisfied, the mass does not follow a circular path. It starts to fall and r double dot is no longer zero. Okay, that means r is no longer a constant. It starts falling and there is a relation uh, equation in AR where r dot is no longer zero. So this is the condition to be satisfied in order to make maintain that circular motion. This should be the condition. Now, the second part is to be solved is the tangential acceleration, which is given by equation number 2. We know that r dot is 0. The for a theta is equal to r theta double dot. So from that equation, you get a theta is equal to the tangential acceleration is minus w cos theta by m or since w is equal to mg and m get cancelled it is equal to minus g cos theta okay so a theta is a varying quantity with, along with theta okay so the whirling block has a tangential acceleration that varies between plus g and minus g cos theta from 0 to plus or minus 1 okay it varies from plus g to minus g no matter what is the value of v now, on the downswing, the tangential speed increases and on the upswing, it decreases. Now, if we want to swing the mass with a constant velocity, we would need to make a theta zero. So, we want to make it a constant velocity. We want to take make a theta is equal to zero by giving t a, tangent, a tangential component w cos theta. By making a theta zero, we can make the swing with the with a constant velocity. This is the second example. So in the first example, we we have uh, assumed the gravity to be zero, and we consider in the second example in the gravitational field what is the variation in the uh, movement of the string.